It's our 300th episode. Happy birthday to ER. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, it's amazing to be part of it. And there are people on the crew who, and, you know, some of the background people who have been on the show since the very beginning. And we were lucky enough, you know, to be on the show at all, but to, we had, were not at all <laughs> responsible no. for any of the, you know, very many of the 300. But It's tough to even imagine. You know, you can go on to online and see how many episodes you've done. And, you know, I think I've done like 80-something. And then you go on and you see that Gorin did 170. And, but then you think about 170. It's incredible. And then to think 300 and that there's people there, John Wells, obviously, who, uh, who've been involved in every single one of them. I thought I was celebrating the 30th. <laughs> I've only done 30. I've done 10 percent of the. I've you've done 10 percent. Yeah, I've done exactly 10 percent of the 300 episodes. That's that we got. sort of nice, though. Yeah, I've done 167. We got um, some, like I said, great, great guest stars. Peter Fonda, he's wonderful. Um, we have a great autistic kid, uh, kid playing Lowell, um, and he's really, really great and and up to the challenge. And so I think, you know, I think we just, and then there's a, just a bunch of action. It never stops. I mean, the patients just keep flowing in and flowing out. And, um, you know, my character's sort of um, helping uh, Peter Fonda's character sort of come to terms with uh, a new addition to his family. I mean, I'm very proud. I mean, I, like, I'd never thought I'd be on a, I mean, I'd worked for 25 years to be on a show this good and with this type of talent and, you know, with the acting and the writing, and, you know, I finally feel like, my dad used to always say, if you're going to do something, like, be with the best people, and I feel like I finally reached that, you know, that's that's what it means to me. When you work so hard on something, you know, we work 12 hours a day, five days a week, in, you know, for the majority of the year, and coming to work, I not only love my job, which I'm very blessed to be able to do a job that I love, but I also love the people I work with, and you can't choose those people those people are chosen and you can, you know, assimilate into a situation, but we're really fortunate to actually care about each other from, you know, in front of the camera, behind the camera. It's just a wonderful place to work. And I think a lot of that is owed to John Wells and the people that he chooses and the people that get weeded out for, you know, it, it just, it, it's a wonderful place to be. 300 episodes. And it's, it's wonderful. I mean, you know, we're all blessed to be here. Um, not just because how many episodes, but, you know, it's not necessarily the quantity, but it's the quality also, you know, and, and, and the people that we've been able to spend all of this time with and go on this journey with. I mean, it just feels like time flew, you know, and I would be very uh, heartbroken once this uh, yeah. show is over or disbands or if it ever does, you know. Just, you know, going from being a fan of the show to still, you know, to, to actually being on it and walking these corridors is... Is just amazing, and to be here for 300 episodes. I mean, I don't think you would ever have an experience like that again on any of the TV shows. So it's, it feels really special. Yeah. Well, the character I play in this uh, in this episode, I'm a man who, with his wife, find out a little bit later in the in our lives. We are in our 40s when she gets pregnant, and we find out at the birth that the boy has Down syndrome, and either through cowardice or through ignorance or for whatever reasons, we decide not to keep the baby. And that's been my life. And we've been happy with it. We were good with it and all. And I did not realize that my wife has been seeing him for how long, I'm not sure. And I'm not sure within the show that's not important. What's important is that she has developed a relationship, <clears throat> but I don't dis uh, discover it until they're involved in a car accident. And for me, it's one of those things where there there isn't a day, and this is the truth, where I don't wake up and say, oh my gosh, I'm on ER. Because, again, to tell a personal story, I was supposed to do two episodes of the show and get and, and quit, and then I was supposed to come back and then get killed. Um, you were going to get killed? I was, hmm. yeah. And so to, to, to then be asked... <laughs> <laughs> 302. <laughs> yeah, 300. Yeah. <laughs> But then to be asked uh, to be a regular, wow, that was incredible. And then to think that uh, my character, and never, never, never mind just my character, but me, Scott Grimes, is on ER. It's so, I, 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 I know it's, it sounds really, really stupid, but uh, it's just an incredible feeling to, to be here anyway, never mind for 300. And then to, on top of that, to be here for the 300th. is pretty cool. Well, and this year was incredible for the show, too, because not only is it 300th, but we were became the most Emmy-nominated show of all time. Mm -hmm. 
and we're also doing well in our time slot, and we have amazing guest stars, you know, Stanley Tucci. And, That's the thing. And, it, and this week we have Peter Fauna. It's just... It's an incredible show to work yeah. on. It's it's really kind that's of That's the thing. We're not talking about a show explain. that's at 300 and is number 150 in the ratings. We're talking a show that's in 300 and still doing incredible. As I say, I'm thrilled to be here. And because John's directed it and he's been with it since the get-go, it's uh, it makes even more importance to me. 300 episodes, that's cool too and all. but And a character I've never played, but John directing is just the, the icing and the cake. <laughs> 